I'm going to be replacing the sear spring and the main spring in the Springfield 1911 in order to lighten up on the pull of the trigger. First thing you want to do before working on your gun is make sure it's unloaded. After that we're going to compress the recoil spring and turn our barrel bushing uh, counterclockwise. After that we want to remove the slide step. Bring it back to a point on the other side here, you can see where you're going to push it. You're going to push it from there. It's going to come right off. Set that there. And we'll set that there. After that, we have another spring here we're going to be removing. To remove that guy without any pressure behind it, keep your hammer back and you should be able to just slide it right out. And Just like I did there, the spring that was inside here kind of shot off. There it is. There's a spring here. It only goes in one way. You can see one end is going to be skinnier on one side than the other and that's what will be sliding in first. Okay. After that we want to go ahead and remove the back part of it here and for that there's another pin we're going to be pulling out down below here. Go ahead and just uh, push it through. If you can't quite push it through, take a hammer and uh, tap on her to get her going. Pop it out so far and then you can play with it and get it out. Make sure you hold pressure against that because it's spring loaded and it's going to shoot out just as so. And after that, you can go ahead and pull this guy off, put it to the side. So we're going to pull that. Here's our sear spring and our main spring. Changing these out. The new uh, springs that we're adding. This is the new one. This is the old one. You can see the difference in the two. Again, this is just going to lighten up on our pull. So we'll go ahead and put that one aside. That's the old one. Here's the new one. And as for these springs here, you can see the length of the old one and the length of the new one. This is going to make our uh, the pull of the trigger lighten up a lot. So we'll take that and put that one aside. And putting it back together, we want to make sure our trigger is in the open position. Then we'll take the spring here, install this guy where it belongs. I kind of, you want to move this this guy here out of the way. I kind of throw it forward, put our new spring in. You can see where it goes. It's The back of it goes right inside there. So you lift that up, put that in again. It fits just right there. This guy will come back here, right in that position there. Then you have the, your guard here. It's going to kind of go right back where it came from. You can see everything will line up just as so. Again, keep your hammer back. Put everything in the position that goes goes back. Before uh, we start putting it back together, we got to put our new spring back in here. The trick to that is just taking it, putting it inside. And this is a Springfield. I know we have, comes with a little pin here. 
that's going to slide back down into here to hold the pressure off the spring so it's much easier to get together and this is the head that goes in so what I do is I'll take it and put it in there and then I use my punch it might take a few times take the punch just as so put pressure down on there hold it in place because it'll bounce right out of the way put your pressure down on there make sure you have that pin ready put the pressure on Oh, damn, might take a few times. Hold it down in. Ah, damn thing, it's a new, brand new spring, and again, it's longer, so it's that much harder to put it back on. Oh, I got it. There it is, and you can see that pin that we put in there to hold it. The spring from going off kind of sticks out a little bit, so try and work it out just just enough so you're able to slide this back in there there we go just just as so okay so we'll get back to where we were here putting it back together again make sure your hammer is going to stay back this is uh the second time i've done this so i'm not an expert at it yet <laughs> which again um you don't have to be a gunsmith to be able to replace this i think it They'd probably charge you uh, over 100 bucks, and that's not including the parts to do it. So my advice is um, just read up on it and do it yourself. Save some money. And Okay, there we go. So we'll put this guy in here. And again, to keep everything in place, make sure this, is, this here is in center. Center the guy just like so. To keep that in place, start sliding this back in. Kind of puts everything down. Keep that hammer back. I usually kind of lean it forward. I know you can't really see this because we have to be all lined up. And don't force it. Make sure it's all going in easily. You don't want to ruin anything. like that For some reason, it's not going in. Again, don't force it in there. It's not going in. Looks like something's off there. So we'll go just pull it all apart. Make sure we're not bending anything. Everything's where it needs to be. Just as so. Start by sliding him up to make sure he's where it needs to go. Again, make sure the hammer's open. Okay, it'll go right where it needs to go. We'll go ahead and put our pins back in. The pin for this guy back here is your safety. And 
So when you're putting your safety back on, you're going to slide slide this other spring forward. And if you're really careful, you won't scratch it. And kind of slide her in there. Clip it in. There you go. After that, you want to take it off safety. We have this last pin down below here to put in. Again, don't force anything. What I'll do is I'll take my punch and I'll try and line up both sides. And once it starts, it's in there. So take a the punch and gently start to put it in there if it doesn't go again don't force it make sure it's all lined up both sides there it is so we're all back together there and they take the pressure off that I put the pressure back on. Sorry, pull your pin here. Pressure's back on. And then just uh, go about sliding it back together. You see where our hole is here. It needs to line up in here just as when we pulled it out. We need to put it back in the same position it originally was. So. Slide her back in and bring our hammer back. There she is. So again, I'll take my punch, make sure that hole lines up. Slide it in. And again here, now we've got the other side of where that spring is that you need to line up. As for some, they're able to just push it in. Um, again, the gun's brand new, so you might have to slide something in there, pop it in just like so. It's all lined up. You finish popping it in there. There you go. After that, we're going to go ahead and slide this guy back in. Which means we want to bring it back forward, slide it down there, twist it to the side. And there we go. Nice, easy trigger pull. Again, that cost me probably ten dollars. Um, for the first time I did it, it probably took me thirty minutes. Of course. Uh, not being real familiar with the gun, I had to take it apart, put it together a few times, read up on it. Um, but I think it's something anyone's able to do instead of spending a couple hundred bucks. So um, if you have any tips for me or you might have any other you know, questions, um, please feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.